Hello, welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing a quick look with the deck called the Minciati or Minciati Etruria. Okay, so this was a deck that I purchased recently. It's a limited edition and uh, they're just 2,999 copies and it is numbered and it comes in a box uh, like this. It's a reprint. Um, it's called the Philological Reproduction. The cards, there are 97 cards as in the Mingyati deck and the size of them are 58 times 100 millimeters. Okay, so it opens up uh, like this and this is quite loose, it doesn't fit in too snugly it can fall off, as you've seen. It doesn't fit in too snugly that you can't pull it off for sure, but it's a slightly a little too loose. And it comes with the cards and a little booklet. Well, I wouldn't really say it's a little booklet, but it's, it's something like that. I'll show it to you in a moment. The cards are not in an order. I haven't, I haven't put the cards in a particular order. But this is one side of it. And the other side has a few cards. Okay. So, the little booklet, it looks like this. It basically has your temperance card as um, in the as a picture it opens up in this way and it's uh, the Lo Secarbio Anima Antiqua version the um, book has the the cards the names of the cards here and they point out the major arcana So it's um, the fool is unnumbered and it points out all the major arcana and their numbers and what they're called as well as the cards of virtue, the cards of the elements and the, um, uh, the uh, astrological signs and then the star, the moon, the sun, the world and the trumpets, the angel or the judgment card uh, or what I like to use as the judgment card. And so you have it in English, you have it in Italian, in uh, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Russian, and I think it's Japanese, to be honest. I actually don't know. So the deck was produced this year. I had bought it on a pre-order. And it talks about a little bit about the origins of the Minkiati. Uh, it talks about the, the composition of the deck and then it just has the the, num the, the, the major arcana and that, that is all that's in this book and then they have it in the different languages as you can see here. At the end of it, um, there's the it folds open in the same way that it does at the beginning. Okay. It comes to two other cards here. That's the back of it. And uh, this is the card that talks about its limited edition and it says that I have the 108th copy. And it talks, at the back it says the images of this deck were digitalized from public domain sources and or private collections. They were then optimized to reproduce the appearance and colors as faithful to the originals as possible during the printing process. In order to preserve the original feeling of these ancient images, the, card have, the cards have not been treated with chemical varnish and as a result, they might not be suitable for shuffling. Okay, and it says Torino, May 2018, and the art director is Pietro Aligo. So, that's 
So um, here we begin. So apologies that I haven't taken the time to put this into the order. I have actually uh, been using them and so I haven't really done that. But I'm going to go through them very slowly. So this is your back. Seven of Cups. Your Six of Cups. Five of Cups, so it is in some kind of order, it seems. Uh, perhaps I did have it in order. Let me check. I think I did endeavor to shuffle it since then. So um, it's not any more in order. This is your death card. This is your um, sort of like your emperor, the emperor of the West, I think it's called. Your wands card. This is your five of wands. I think this is your prudence card. Your two of pentacles. This is um, your card of one of the elements. I think it would be water. Your temperance card, which is also on the, on the cover. Your strength card. Your three of wands. Four of wands. Your Scorpio card. Ah, oh, sorry, your crab. Your crab. Your Sagittarius. I think this is your Emperor of the East or your Hierophant card in the usual deck. Your Nine of Pentacles. Your Pentacle cards have various different coins in them. Do you see that? There's some different types of birds and geese, I think, in here. And then this one, uh, which is your Eight of Pentacles, has the heads of various people in here. Your chariot. Oh, sorry, your Wheel of Fortune. This is your chariot. This is your king of cups. I'm just trying to go along a bit faster. The page of pentacles. Your King of Pentacles. You can pause the video if you'd like to take a look at them. 
just gonna the length of the video seems to be getting on so I'm just gonna go a bit faster they don't have any numbers so until you get used to the card you need to be counting your ones etc unless you're quite good at just looking at it and seeing that this is the ten of wands which I think it is um, yes it is your queen of cups your knight of cups page of cups eight of wands your pentacle card again with the different heads each time This is your Gemini, I think it is. Taurus. Three of Cups. Can't remember what this is. Um, but it says it's the number 17 here. It's probably one of the virtues. I think it's one of the virtues, that's right. The 17 virtue is prudence. So this card is prudence. Your six of coins. Seven of coins. Your hanged man. Five of swords. Do you see the little detail? Sorry, that was upside down. The little detail here with the um, swords. You have the dog stepping out of his kennel, so to say, almost. You have the chickens here. It's not really kennel, but an enclosure of swords. So a lot of little details in the cards that are lovely. Your devil. Your tower. This is your fool. Your fool is not numbered. So you, yeah, you need to know your fool. <laughs> your king of swords. Your justice card. Oh, hang on, that's not justice. Is um, Libra. I'm sorry about that. That was Libra. I haven't used these cards very often. I have actually just uh, used them a few times now, and um, I'm not that used to the Migiati deck, but I would like to use it more often. I find it especially good for numbers. Um, for um, for divining um, time periods. Your swords. You have your hedgehog here, your monkey. More swords. Ace of swords. King of Wands, Queen of Wands with that little wand, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Oh, sorry, this is the Queen of Wands. This is the Queen of Wands, and so I think this, I'm not really sure what this is. It's either the Queen of the Pentacles, explains why that wand is so little. I have to look at that again. I thought we'd come across the 
the pentacle queen already. Your Scorpio, your astrological signs, your fire, one of the elements. This is your card of charity, one of the virtues. Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, Pisces. This is also one of your virtues. I think it is Faith. This is the card of Aquarius. I still, I remember looking at it and thinking, really? <laughs> and uh, yes, I had to look at it again because I completely forgotten it. Your Leo, difficult to not recognize that one. Your star, your moon. So that's your star and your moon here together. Your sun, your world, and your judgment card, or the angel's card, or the trumpets, they call it. Here, so it's like your, your world comes before your judgment card in this deck. This is the element, the, um, I think it's the wind, or the air. This is the earth. Five of pentacles with other heads. This is your hermit, portrayed in, back in the day as your person with difficulty, uh, with a disability. So, um, this is Aries. This is your justice card. Four of Souls with a unicorn here with a very long horn. Three of Souls. Quite interesting imagery here with the sow and its two babies underneath, drinking from it. If you can see that. Two of swords. Six of rods, wands. This is your pentacle knight. That's your Capricorn. I thought we've come across Sagittarius already. But I think this is Sagittarius. So the other one might have been one of the uh, knights. Because they're also half horse, half man. All your knights in this deck is half horse, half man. And um, your wands, seven of wands. Four of Pentacles. The man sitting upon the beast with a, with a, an arrow. Happiness. <laughs> your cups. Here's your nine of cups. Ah, and there's this card again. This is your... Ah, this is actually what would have normally be the High Priestess card, but it actually, in this deck, it's called, because this deck lacks a High Priestess card, so it's called the Grand Duke or the Empress. 
the Grand Duke or what people refer to as the Empress nowadays when they use this card. Even here on the uh, explanation, there is, uh, it says the, I don't know if you can read that, it says the Grand Duke or the Empress in brackets. Your Ace of Pentacles. There's your knight here, yeah? centaur, half man, half horse, knight of swords, queen of swords, and page of swords. Okay, so that was um, not really a quick look. That was a really long look, it seems. A twenty more than 20 minute long video. Okay, so I thank you for coming by. Um, it is a, a hassle to shuffle these cards, by the way. Uh, although I've gotten used to it. I love the size of them because my hands are not that big, even though they probably appear quite large, so close up to the camera. But my hands are not quite all that large and I find the uh, size of these cards to be perfect in terms of shuffling. I've gotten used to shuffling them. I think I might be shuffling them now for, uh, well, this is about probably the, the sixth time that I've taken these cards. I have used it. Uh, once before to do a video with and once to do a reading with for and um, then I've just been looking through it so it's probably the, the so to say the sixth time that I've actually taken them in my hand and I'm doing something with them and I feel that they get easier at shuffling than even though they're not made to shuffle it's not that difficult to shuffle I've definitely come across decks which are worse and they don't there isn't really an explanation for that I would highly recommend this deck if you're interested in the Minkiati uh, tarot or the um, yeah the Minkiati decks. It uh, feels good. It looks good. It looks a bit blurred out, so to say. The it definitely in this light, as I look at it, it looks uh, not so much blurred out as a not as sharp, um, and not as especially these cards, you know, as opposed to the this one. This is sharp. But this one not and it looks also this is really the way it was painted back in the day but the color is also very dull uh, in keeping with the production uh with with the copy uh production in keeping with how they were made but in this in the camera it looks better than it would uh in in daily life in it just yeah it looks more dull when you look at it in your hand um as when you look at it through uh, in a video so yes, thank you very much for coming by and taking a look at your uh, at this um, Mingiati Etruria, the latest reproduction from Los Carabio. And um, it's the Firenze 1806 to 1807 production. And this is what comes with it, basically. So I hope uh, this has been of some use to you. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you have found this uh, video to be useful. And once again, apologies for not having it in the correct order, if that is what you were expecting. Okay, all the best and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.